the experience of being pulled from inside is very different from being pulled outside. When you are pulled inside, it's a pull of your soul. The soul is being pulled because it pulled you of love. It's not an attachment in the sense of desiring to possess something. There is a real difference between the pull of love and the pull of an attachment. In attachments, you are always conscious of yourself. Supposing you are attached to your house. I have a beautiful house. And you look at the house. When you think of the house, you think of, I have a beautiful house. I comes first, house comes later. Supposing you have a nice fr friend of yours. You say, I love my friend. We say that all the time. Then I comes first and love comes next, the friend comes third. The whole process is one of a play of this egoistic self. The egoistic self brings our I again and again. So if I is strong, then the pull is not of love, of attachment. Every time when you are conscious of your own self and then say, I love somebody, it's attachment. It's not love. Love does not give that experience even in physical world. When you have an experience of love for somebody, you are pulled and you forget the I. You don't know who your, yourself is. You only think of the beloved. The beloved replaces in your thinking, in your mind, your own ego. The I-ness disappears. I have spent my whole life trying to study this difference between attachment and love. And I find that attachment is always where the I is strong, the ego is strong. People tell me, I love that person so much and see what he or she did to me. Again, the I is very strong. That, that kind of attachment is not called love. It's a business deal. I love you, what have you done for me? It's like a transaction of a business that I give you something, you give me something back. This does not happen when you have true love. You forget yourself and your mind is thinking only of the beloved. Now, this is what actually happens when we come across a perfect living master at the right time in our lives. When we are pulled, we think of the master, we forget our own self. That is the true love that we are experiencing. And when we find, after some association with such human beings, whom we call perfect masters, when we find that the pull is so strong, that we can't think of anything else, we just miss our master. We miss our master, we think of him all the time. When can we see again? When can we have darshan again? That's, that is love, because there is no I. I do not know any other experience in this physical world which can create a suppression of your own I, of your ego, except love. Whether it's for a person, or whether it's for something internal, it is something that makes you forget your ego. All other things are bringing your I into it. I is an obstacle in meditation because it strengthens our mind and weakens ourself. I is the face of our mind. Just the face of the mind is shown with the I-ness that we use all the time. And that is why when we are constantly thinking of what am I getting out of it? What have I done for somebody? What reaction I should expect? Those are all attachments that we create with the mind. Mind cannot love. Soul always loves. Mind can only be attached. Therefore, there is a distinction. And since we have merged these two together and we don't see any distinction between our mind and ourself, that is why sometimes we can't know whether we are having an experience of attachment or of true love. Now, true love, when it comes, it is a very different experience than created by attachment. Attachment tries to make you seek exclusiveness with what you are attached. It's a separation. You, you want something, you love some, something which you call I love something, it should be yours only. You want it to be exclusive. 
On the other hand, when you have experience of love, it is such a wonderful experience, you begin to love everybody. It's a very different, it's like an overflow. So there are some basic differences between attachment and love. And we are caught in this world because of attachments. And then when we have more desires, we get more attachments. If you were to ask, what is the obstacle? If our true home is right inside us, and we know it, then why can't we just fly there and go right now? What is stopping us? The only thing stopping us is the mind and its attachments outside.